It's a two-cycle Fairmont railway engine. The guy I got it from thought it was a hit and miss engine. I was looking for a hit and miss engine, but that's not what I got. I had to make the adapter for the spark plug. I had to make the points, and I used an old car coil that I had. And the gas tank off was something else I had out back. And I did replace the head gasket. Pull the head off, clean it all up, and it'd be all in pretty good shape. Because we didn't, I didn't know, I never seen one of these before, I don't know what it's supposed to have. So I made Chevy points, made a little can, little bump in there to make the points work. And uh, this, uh, we can advance and, and, and uh, retard the spark, because you can start this in either direction. The ones that were originally goes on here, you have to use with a, what they call a buzz coil. It's like a Model A coil. Well, I didn't have none of that stuff. The cam's made out of a piece of aluminum that I had laying on the floor. When it opens them points, I got them set to where they open at 30 thousandths. marks in here they didn't have any marks in it right here when this one is lined up here and my pistons on top dead center and when this one is lined up here my points are open and I figure if you can get points to open and close and you got a condenser and you got a coil and you do it all at the right time it's going to run Here's the head gasket that uh, I made I didn't like, so I made another one. And I mixed the gas 16 to 1 with the oil, because it takes quite a bit of oil. It, that's why you see all that smoke. Rings are good, and you just see the smoke because of the mixed oil. When I got it, this, uh, this fuel adjuster, air fuel adjuster, was broke off. And I got to looking on the internet and I found a, somebody had the whole carburetor they said was good. So I bought it off eBay. And when I got it, the only thing that was good was this uh, air adjuster. All the other stuff in it was missing. They didn't, they, they sold it to me with the inside parts all gone, just the shell. But at least I had this part. That's what I needed right there. Couldn't find the right. Couldn't find the right spark uh, plug for this. So I got a. I imagine they make these adapters. I don't know, but I had to make one. Cause you do the best you can with what you got. That's a. That's a quarter inch, or a three quarter inch pipe reducer, and I drilled it out to fit a Chevy spark plug. That's what runs it. So, if I could find one, I'd buy one. Oh yeah. I got that little crooked, but that's because I only have one good eye. <laughs> it's a little bit crooked. That's because that's, that's I had one eye fixed. I didn't fix the other one. <laughs> one seventeen forty-nine. I believe that's the date it was made. This is a QB203-1 Fairmont, and I'm told, <clears throat> if 
by some guy from the Denver Railroad Museum thing that this is the biggest one they made. Okay, now we gotta put some power to it. It's gonna be noisy. I want to tighten that throttle just a little bit because it has a tendency to move. Okay. All right, should be ready. Ready? It's going to get noisy. the way it runs. It's far different than anything that I've ever messed around with. But I feel good because I was successful in making it run. Now I'm done with it. That's all I wanted it for. Make sure it make, make something run. Pretty cool.